Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, Brad Tube Plays here. In today's video, I'm going to start a brand new franchise series. I'm going to do more of like a mini series as such. I want to do like a really short one where it's just me, completely recorded live. As I go, no editing kind of thing, just straight in. Let's get it set up, do some more tutorials, and let's dive straight into it. So I'm going to go to franchise. So I want to set this one up in the kind of Arctic Circle area. So Northern Europe kind of Arctic Circle, we'll stick to that. So the continent selection is going to be Europe. The biome is going to be Tundra. Difficulty, we're going to pop that on easy just for now. And then the name of the zoo, we're just going to call it the Arctic Rescue Center, I think for now. So we're just going to keep it at that. So it's 100 conservation credits to start a new franchise, but that's completely fine. With regards to this name, I'm going to probably do like a renaming part and just kind of rename it to something a little bit more appropriate. So let's jump straight in. Okay, so just while we're waiting for that to load, so I'm just kind of thinking what kind of animals we can pop in here. So I'm thinking more as soon as we start in, if we get straight to kind of like raccoons, have a little lake probably for some mute swans or something. So I think that's probably the best way to go with this one. So if we jump straight in, so I'm going to also do more of like a how to start a franchise zoo as well. So this is the way that I do it. So I'm going to align to the grid here. So because I've got the railings on, I'm just going to extend the path out. So I've matched the path with what was already there. I'm not going to take it out too far, I'm probably going to take it to there. And then I always go off to the left. You don't have to go off to the left, you can go off to the right. You can put these wherever you want, but this is just the staff hub. And just while I remember, I'm going to change that over to staff path in because we don't want the guests to be going down here. You can also keep this as a single path, but just for continuity, I'm going to keep it as a double path. Just so it doesn't drive me insane, because if I've got a single path and a double path, I'll probably lose my mind. <laughs> so let's just get that path in. So we're going to put it to there. Then we're going to hop over to the facilities. So we're going to go to the staff facilities and we're going to turn blueprints off. So we don't want this in franchise mode because the blueprint versions do cost a little bit more and we need to conserve as much money as possible. So the first thing that we need is the animal trade center. So this will start off our grid. So we can't align it to the path, unfortunately. So what I like to do is I like to just kind of use these squares and just align it to the edge of the path. So that will give us the closest to the grid that we can get. So that's the animal trade center popped down there. Let me get rid of that. And then we're going to put a keeper hut. So we're going to do a large one for now. I know it's a little bit more expensive, but it's probably going to pay off more in the long run. Um, actually, just thinking about that, I'm already regretting my decision. <laughs> we're going to take that back. We're going to do a small one because it's only 1,000. So we're going to try and stick to the smallest ones as possible. So obviously we're not going to do a large quarantine because it's 9,000. We've only got 37,000 left because you only get 40,000 when you start on franchise. So we're going to do this one for 4,000. So as you can see, it's already chipping away at our, um, at our budget. And then we also need a staff room. So we're going to stick with that. So this little bundle here is going to be our staff facilities. Let me just make sure I've not missed anything off. Uh, veterinary surgery, that's what we need, apologies. So I'm going to pop that one in as well. That's going to drive me insane. So I'm just going to move that around. I promise I'm not picky. <laughs> right, so that's there. So that's our little central hub for the staff. We're going to make this area look pretty at the minute. It's quite, quite bland and quite ugly, but that's fine. Okay. And I know I said I'm not going to go out too far with this path, but that was probably the biggest I have ever told because I need to go out further. So if we just extend that, um, it shouldn't take too much money because we've still got 27,000. Obviously, we've still got to build enclosures and stuff. So if we kind of use this area for the first enclosure, we'll probably go up to here and then we'll extend down here and we'll have like a little lake here. So let's just get the path in. So this is where the guests are going to stand. So I want the enclosure path to be separate to the main path, just so we don't cause any kind of traffic jams or bottlenecks. So I want to keep it as close to the path as possible and then we're going to snap it back in so I want to get that as close as possible it can be quite tricky there we go I'm happy with that so what's that looking like from the sky okay that's pretty perfect I'm really happy with that okay so let's have a look at the raccoon so the raccoon I think is two males and up to three females 
and I think they are a three meter high climb proof. Yep. Okay, let's have a look. Two males, three females. That's fine. So let's go into the market and buy them. Uh, we've got a couple of leucistic ones. Right, sure. Oh, I'm not paying that much. Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's way too expensive. We're not doing that. Um, let's just refresh that list. So I'm going to try and find one, which is decent. That's decent. It's got 30 seconds, so I need to make a decision now. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, have we got any of these leucistic ones with cheaper... Can you f oh yeah, you can. That's me being silly, ignore that. Okay, so... That one's definitely not coming to the zoo. Uh, that one also isn't coming to the zoo. That one... Yeah, we can do that. 37% fertility and 83% immunity. That's good. And it's 500. Ideally, I don't want to be using... Wow, that's cool. We'll have a nap. Oh no, please. Oh, there we go, we've got it. And we're not having that. Oh, we could have had a... See, I'm too quick to jump the gun. Way too quick to jump the gun. <laughs> but we can get a melanistic female. I need to check how many I've got, because I feel like I've gone a little bit overboard with the raccoons. Let's have a look. How many do we have? Ooh, two males, two females. So we have a chance of these two breeding more melanistic ones, but then we've also got the chance of him breeding with her and creating melanistic ones, but then we've also got the chance of... No, that's fine. We'll keep it like that. We'll just try our luck and, and hope for the best. <clears throat> so I'm going to pop them into the trading center. Okay, so we'll get this pop up here. So your zoo has no staff, so what we need in order to get it running, we need a caretaker or a cleaner if you're from the UK and a zookeeper and we will need a vet. So we don't need to worry about the mechanics for now, the security or the vendors or the educators just at the minute. We just need them free just to get run off and get the raccoons and then we've got a keeper on standby for when the enclosure's sorted. So let's get straight in to the enclosure and let's get that built. So I think I'm going to use... I'm going to use the concrete. So we're going to pop that as close to here. And just a little trick as well. So if you want to change the length of the in-game barriers, you can use the plus and the minus on the keyboard to change the length so you don't have to keep clicking that little slider. That's just a little trick that I've been taught by someone. So I thought that's quite good to share that one. So let me just get this habitat built. I'm going to keep it very small. Um, wondering why that wasn't going to snap in there. Okay, so we're going to keep it like that. So it's pretty even, as you can see. Um, we'll probably do with the even. It's just off, but it's, it's not too bad. That's fine. We can uh, I can cope with that. So we're going to pop the keeper gate there. And then I'm just going to connect that up with a staff path. So I want to keep the same... Same theme all the way through. So let's snap that over. Okay, and then the front here, obviously you think, probably think um, that doesn't look right, but don't worry, we can fix that. So I'm going to click on this and click add. So I want to add another panel from here, and then I want to add another panel from here. So just to recap on that one, I'll zoom in. So to add these sections into the middle of your barriers, so you just click on the wall of the barrier, on console, I'm not 100% sure how you can do this because, like I said, I've not played not played console edition yet. But if you click on the plus sign, you can add another another break as such. I'm not 100% sure what these bits are called. But um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to extend over to these two and change them over to thick glass. And then if I pop out of that, and I just want to select the hole, and then I'm going to make that to three meters, just so it's not escapable for the raccoons. So that's how I want it to be. So you can come through and then you can stand here and you can view. Um, so we're probably going to have quite a lot of off stage, not so much off stage, sorry, um, a backstage area here. And then we're probably going to have some climbing frames and kind of like a little swimming area here for them. So they're ready to come out of quarantine. We've just got, we're just waiting for one, which I presume is in the vets. Oh, it's just come out of the vets. It's just gone back. <laughs> 
here he is, look. So they're just going to pop him back into the quarantine, and then he should pop up in here saying he's ready. Or he might go back into quarantine, I'm not sure. There we go, all ready now. So I'll pop them in. So we'll put them straight in. I'm going to pause because guests are already here. So before I do that, I need to put down some donation bins. So in franchise mode, donation bins are absolutely vital for the money coming into your zoo. So I'm just going to keep it all aligned. So I want one in front of there, one in front of there, and one in front of there. And then also education, so that's another important factor. So let me just make sure that random rotation is off. And we've got a line to surface. I'm just going to click out the item and back. So I want to have these as central as possible, and for a first drop that was pretty central. So it's quite good. We'll stick with that. Okay, and then let's get that one a little bit more central. Yep, that works. Then let's go over to this one and let's get that one central as well. So, oh, I think I had it there. There we go, that'll do. So these points here, so we're going to have the raccoons education here. And I'm going to put an educational speaker above each one of these as well. So this will just increase the education a little bit further. Because the more educated the guests are, the happier they are and the more money they'll spend. Sorry, the more money they will donate to this exhibit. So let's just pop them in just while I'm thinking about it. I'm going to have to unpause for a second and they're going to be stood looking at nothing, but it's fine. There's not um, not too many people coming through. So whilst we're waiting for the staff to bring them, I'm just going to rename this enclosure raccoons because that's what's coming in here. And then as soon as they get dropped in, I can then start assigning the species in here. I have to click out and go back in because it's probably not registered. There we go. Okay, so to assign the species, it's clicking on the board and then where it says educational content, you just need to drop down and there'll be a list. If you've got multiple animals in your zoo, it'll be a bigger list, but because we've only got the raccoons, that's what we're putting in. You can also make custom ones of these as well. So I've done that before. Um, I can just show you one. It's from a very, very old zoo, but I made it for a cheetah and a black rhino. So you can make it like this. Obviously, that was a very old zoo. Um, I could do a separate tutorial if people want to see that, and then that was the one I did for the black rhino. But if you just put it on default if you want to keep them, or if you've got custom ones, feel free to use them. So education, speaker as well, so that's the same principle. It's just got a range on it. So I tend to put these at, pop this one at 6 I think. Because if they overlap, it will have a negative effect on the guests. So let's just go through and complete all the education. So raccoon, raccoon, I don't think these guys can share their enclosure with anyone. Um, have I got a, oh, is, that speak, is that a speaker even there? Oh, it's in the middle, okay, that's fine. Um, I'll pop that to, I'll play it safe and go with six. And we'll play this safe and go with six as well. So that's all the education. So we should be all set for the guests to come in and start spending their money. I'm going to keep it in pause mode just for now because I need to add enrichment items and everything else into the zoo. So before I do that, I'm going to just add some foliage to the areas. So if we just select all these. And I really want to use the bold cypress tree. So this is probably one of my absolute favourites. Let's just take a line to surface off so I can sink it. So I just want to sink that there a little bit. And then what I want to do as well is I want to use the bracken and I want to just play around with elevation on this. So I want some bits that are high and um, I also want random rotation on so let's duplicate. And then I want some bits that are low and then I want some higher bits, some higher bits, some really low bits. And then we can just play around with the sizes as well because it's obviously bigger and littler pieces of bracken. So we're going to put these on the corner because I want them to kind of poke through the fence a little bit. And then if we have a look through, so I want to use something else as well. Possibly the beech sapling, um, just to add a few bushes and just fill in the areas just like that. Okay, and then let's see if we've got anything else that we can use. What about the bramble bush? Does that go? 
Um, yeah, that works. That adds a nice, nice effect, I think, actually. I'm not going to go too crazy around the back because obviously this is staff and people can't see that. Um, so I'm quite happy with those bits. I'm just going to raise these up because I want to pull this all the way up to here. And then, oh, a branch in the way, sorry. Uh, I want to fill these back bits in. Uh, oh, just noticed as well, there's loads of claw marks on this, on this wall. Is that normal? Or is that because it's already started? That might be because it's already started degrading, if that's the right word to use. Um, I'm not sure. But because I'm in franchise mode, I'm going to... When I can find where maintenance, that's it. So we want the mechanic to visit, let's say, every three months. Because we don't want any animals escaping in this zoo. Because eventually we're going to get some quite big animals and it's going to cause massive problems if they escape. Um, I'm not... Should I get a mechanic? No, let's keep the staff wages to a minimum for the time being. I'll save the next episode for staffing, work zones and facilities. Okay, so... Right, so the raccoons are in here. That's fine. So let's get a hard shell to build for them. So I'm going to use the congregated iron pieces. I'm going to use the four meter wall pieces and I'm going to use this grey, greyish green kind of colour. And again, I'm going to use this as a placeholder. So this isn't going to be the exact, I'm just using it just to get the grid. So I can get rid of that and then control D, duplicate to get the other piece. Um, I don't want this to be too big of an area but what I wanted to do is have these kind of little separation areas for them and then what I might do is I might just put some little concrete I'm gonna do that now while I think about it because I'll say I'll do it and I will forget right so concrete and let's have a look concrete floor let's just change the grid size to zero uh, oh it's doing that annoying thing that's fine I can, uh, I can do it separate. So if I just do it on a separate grid so I can actually do that. And just fill the floor in completely. So this is going to be where they're going to sleep. This is where they're going to have some of their enrichment. They're going to have a little water dish. Probably here because it's a bit close to the barrier here. And you can't place enrichment items too close. So let's just get the um, the lawnmower, as I call it, out. So trim all this grass here. It's not actually a lawnmower; it's just the just the terrain painter tool. Um, just me being goofy, right? So let me just filter down to the raccoon for enrichment. So where's the? Let me find the water pipe. Okay, so I'm going to pop these against the wall. I'm going to pop one, see how close we can get it. Okay, so about there is the limit. And let's just see how far back we can take it without it poking through. Okay, I'm happy with that. It's fine. Oh, I've got random rotation on. That's not fine. Let's turn that off. We'll move that one down just until we can place it. That's the limit for that one. Okay, so I might just lift this floor up ever so slightly just to try and avoid that happening. Okay, that doesn't look too silly. It's only a little bit of a slope for them, but it's not, not the end of the world. Okay, so here I think I just want to add some mesh. I know the the backstage area in this this suit is not going to be much of the priorities but I think if we add as much as we can uh, detail wise I think it looks quite cool so if we just lock that there I want to sink it in between I don't think that's not a no we'll put that there and then we'll lower that down I don't think that looks too bad actually I mean, it, it could be better, but the size is a little bit big. Um, we'll have to, that's fine, we'll stick with that. So I just want to make sure it's as, as 
in the middle as I can get it. Okay, I think that'll do. So these are just for more, more for privacy more than anything. So I'm going to put some of the hay down. So let's go back to habitat enrichment and I'm going to pop these down. I'm hoping it doesn't make the floor go crazy like the water did. Uh, no, that's fine. And then what I will do here is I will just pop a gift box down and another gift box. So they've got two enrichment items in here. So let's see if we can actually, okay, we can't add them two together, which is annoying. But it's fine. I can I can work around that. So roofing. So let's find a roof that we want to use. So I'm thinking the metal. One second. So I'm thinking the metal clad roof. I think that one's quite cool to use. I might use these in the corners, just like this. So I'm thinking if I pop one in the corner there. Oh, I might as well do this now. I've gone too far. Um, so if we do that and just use the one meter pitch and just fill it in like this and I think that just adds quite a cool cool little backstage building it's not too in your face and it's quite hidden well, I say hidden it's, it's quite far back um, so we're just going to add the eave I think this is how you say it to the corners just to extend those out so I don't want them to be two meter ones I want them to have a little bit of a slant just a bit more character to the building so let's add that to every corner. So just rotating that with the Z key. And then the same again for these. So two there, rotate around, straight back in. Okay, so that is our little off show area. Just their little den where they can go and sleep. So they also need a little bit of water. So I'm gonna add that in now. I want to add like a little pool. So I'm gonna use the terrain stamp tool and I want to put it, I might put it here. And we're going to change that to minus. I don't want it to be too deep. We're probably going to do it six meters. That might be okay. Should we do six meters? No, let's do, let's do there. That's deep enough. And then what I'm going to use is this. I'm going to pop the angle snap on and I'm just going to rotate this round. So this is a little slope. Oh, just do one more. This is a little slope and I'm just going to, I was right the first time, I didn't need to rotate that all the way around. Um, so I just want to make this just like a soft gradient into the pool. So that should be okay. What you can also do here is you can also use the smooth tool, uh, that one, just to smoothen it out just so they can actually get in and out. Um, I don't want to use that, that paint, I really want to use this because I love this for this biome. I think this is really really cool so we're just going to go around the edge and then what i'm going to do is i call it feathering there's probably a more better term for it but i just feather out the edges like that so it's just blending it just kind of blends it more into the into the landscape and it just stops that harsh kind of edge so it's just a little bit more effective and then i might do that on the bottom of the pool let me see how that looks Um, yeah, I think that looks okay. I'm happy with that. Um, it's quite deep, so let me just see if they can actually go in there. So if we just click on them, traversable area. Yep, yeah, that's fine. They've got plenty of swimming and they've got plenty of space, so that's good. So the animal needs are almost there. I've just got to sort out the climbing area. So we're going to reserve this area here for climbing. So I'm going to be a tiny bit lazy and just use the in-game climbing barriers just to get it set up so we can start earning some money. Uh, so many enrichment items in here that I've never seen before. But then again, I haven't actually used all of these. So I'm gonna try and use a lot more animals that I've not used before, because I feel like that'd be quite cool. So I'm just gonna add that one there. I want to try and link them in as well. So I'm thinking if I do of do that one probably at an angle there or something um, let me see what it looks like that will come over a bit and we'll go down so we've got plenty of space here and they can come out of there and do that that's fine and then have we used we haven't used that one so i'm going to use that one 
possibly here. So I want that to kind of link up there. Okay, so that's a fun little little climbing frame for them, I think. So let me just unpause that and see how their climbing is now. Okay, so we've got maximum for all of those, so that's brilliant. So now we just need to sort out these. So this so it's gonna affect their welfare a tiny little bit, but only nine percent. Um that's quickly going down because we just had the other two added, but it's still fine, it's still in green. So these ones here, so if it's below the white, it indicates that it needs more of the certain terrain. If it's above the white on this side, it means it needs less. So the game is a little bit backwards because when you click on this, it sets you to this brush to add more. Whereas obviously if you click this, it needs less. So if we just kind of make a rough path, just to make kind of like a pacing line, we can make a pacing line here as well, just to add that little bit of kind of realism. I know I'm not heading for a realism style, but um, but we can still use that. So I can probably put some soil here, so I'm planning on having some foliage here, so I think if we had the soil there that's probably a good shout. And then maybe if we had more soil here as well. I'm just going to pause as well because we're in franchise mode and I just want to get everything sorted before the, um, before the guests start coming in crazy. Um, so just going to add the areas that we're going to add a little bit of foliage. So I think that's pretty good for for all their terrain, sorry. So let's just unmatch that and rematch it. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to stick kind of with these sort of trees. So what I want to do is I just want to make sure you can't climb these ones because I want non-climbable trees. Obviously in real life they'd definitely be able to get through that. But I want to just make sure that these bits don't come out. So let's just hit X on the keyboard to get that advanced move up and let's just move that out a little bit. So I want two there and then I'm going to sink some other bushes down. So I'm thinking probably way too big. Let's use these. So let's sink that into the ground just a little bit. Let's get that random rotation back on. So just to click out and just click back in, I'm just do Control and D and that will just duplicate it again. So it doesn't rotate it too much because it's quite a circular circular item, but it's um, it's not too bad. So I'm just going to go in from this side so I can roughly see where I need to be. It's fine. Okay, and then I'm just going to move that one back again. So clicking X on the keyboard and just dragging it under. I know it doesn't matter because obviously there's no one's really going to see, see down there, but just for my own peace of mind, I'm doing that. Um, I want to add something here, just like a little bush or something. Let's see what we've got. Maybe we can add a bramble bush here, I think. Got anything bigger? Maybe get that one. That works perfectly. Right, let's do that. And then I think maybe like a tree, tree stump there. Um, yeah, that's cool. I like that. And then, so that's the first area, and then I also want an area here, but I thought about here, maybe if we have, I've got a crazy idea, and I'm going to do it, because it's in my head now, and I need to do it, I'm going to use these logs, and I'm going to sink them, just like that, and I'm going to make, like, almost like a natural raised bed, kind of like a cool shape. Um, I'm not going to fill it out because I'm probably going to put some rocks behind as well. So something like that. So kind of like a palisade just to hold back the earth. Uh, there we go. So we'll do that. And then I'm going to put some little rocks behind. So I want to use either the tiger rocks or the temperate or potentially the tropical. The tropical could work they're a little bit darker but I think I'm gonna stick with the tiger rocks so I'm gonna sink them all the way down and I'm just gonna have them kind of randomly placed behind here like this so hopefully I might have to manually move this one so if you've got random rotation on you can just use the keyboard rotate just to to turn that a little bit and it'll still keep the random rotation for the next one I'm just planning the course where I want to go. 
Um, have we got anything smaller? Do with just this bigger. Just do with a smaller, smaller piece. But I've got a solution to that. So Control D, and I'm going to use it like that. Right, that works. Hey, okay, that's fine. Okay, and what I wanted to do here was I just wanted to raise the terrain up a little bit. I didn't want to go too crazy. But I wanted just to raise it up a slight little bit. Okay, just like that. That's fine. Um just gonna clean that up at the back. I know no one's gonna be looking back here, but just my own peace of mind. Okay, so I'm thinking probably two big trees and then lots of foliage just around. So let me have a look and see what trees we can use. Uh, we could use... Uh, no, bald cypress is probably going to be a bit too... A bit too... Jesus Christ, that is massive. Oh my god, that's even bigger. I mean, I could use that as like a little... A little starter tree, possibly here. Possibly here. Um, I'm not sure. I'll keep them in for now, and if I don't like them, I will take them out at the end. Uh, what about these? Yeah, that's the kind of style I want. So I think if I do that, and then do we have anything smaller, festive? Oh, no, I don't want festive. Whoa, Jesus. That is one big tree. And that's big. And that's even bigger. What about a holly tree? I could even go smaller and use these around the edge actually. Yeah, I prefer using them around the edge rather than the main tree. Uh, um, these trees are massive, I've already clicked on them before. Uh, a London, London plane tree, I've never heard of that before. But, I quite like that and I'm going to use that just there. But what kind of angle do I like? like it at that angle. Okay, I'm gonna pop that there. Okay, that looks mm, it's quite a tropical kind of grasslands tree I think. Okay, so meadow buttercups. Uh, no that doesn't really fit. We can add some nettles. The nettles always work in these kind of areas. Uh, I could add some flowers because it is a, a bedding area so that should be fine. What's this? No ponytail palms, I'm going to try and stay away from them. Add a couple of these, maybe if it's just slightly. Very much sinking them into, into the ground. What about some colour in the background? Have we got one of these but smaller? Just to add a bit of. That's a little pop of colour, I think, at the back. It's kind of the vibe I was going for. I think that works quite well. I'm happy with that. Okay, and then over here, I'm not going to do the same. I'm going to do something different to what, what we've already done. What's this? So I'm literally just like <laughs> playing around with all these trees because I've never used them before. Uh, under us, underwater plant, we're not using that. Could a weeping willow work? No, it couldn't. Don't like that at all. Jesus. What about that sunken? Uh, I like that. That works. I'll go with that. I'll stick with that one. And then white birch. I think that looks good as well. And this would look quite cool sunken underground as well. Okay, I think that looks pretty cool. That's way too big. And Probably, have we got any more? Add some of these just for a bit of texture as well. And then sink it further down, just to taper that out. And, okay, cool, I like that. So that's a very quick and basic raccoon habitat. So let's just see how they're getting on. And we've already got a reward here. 
So habitat space, satisfy the raccoon climbable area requirement. So that's £100 in our back pocket. Uh, so we've got a couple of others as well. So guest numbers have at least 350 guests in the zoo. Info center profits, so £500 and a yearly info kiosk profit of 500 It's not too bad. So we make that and we pretty much just get it back. Okay, let's work on those. So I'm just going to pop it back into pause mode. I want to just fill the rest of the enrichment out as well. So we've got the climb in. We could do with adding like a slow feeder, possibly down here somewhere. So let's add one there. So we've got this area here so they can stand, they've got education, they've got the speaker and they can watch them. Uh, so that's only taking it up to six, that's fine. So the water jet rocks, let me just take that out. Um, so you can sink these underground and you can just use the shift thing like I said before um, as long as it's not too close to the barrier and just move them around as well. So with this as well you'll also see this little duplicate icon come up. So because we've duplicated that enrichment item it no longer counts to the overall quota. So it's not too bad. Um, I'm going to add a duck into here as well. So I want to hide this. I don't particularly like the the little metal box. So I want to hide it just so it floats up. Um, it should float up. If we... There we go. That's made my day. And then we're going to add... Are we okay for food enrichment? Or do we need some... Let's just add a block of ice down here. That's fine. And then we just need one more food enrichment. So let's add a food bowl as well. If we have the food bowl there, that's also in the middle. Oh, look at all that cash going in there. We are going to be rich after this. So already, to set what we've got up so far. So that's... This here is £20,000 worth of money from franchise mode so far. That's obviously included in the animals, two of them we paid cash and then that's construction costs. The facilities are probably the most expensive so in the grand scheme of things to build this it's not not too expensive. Obviously we did a little bit of work here but it's um, it's not too bad I don't think. Okay so for the final enrichment item I think I'm going to add this here. I don't want it to that's exactly what I don't want it to do. I don't want it to affect that terrain over there too much. So can we add it here somewhere? Also in guest view. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so whilst we're in here, I'm also going to name all of the raccoons. Or I might name a couple and then ask people to name the others. So Yo Man, pretty cool name. Um, I'm going to call him Bob why not simple name and then name one of the females so Santi she's got a pretty cool name we'll leave that as it is where's the others there's one here what's that one that's the other male and this must be the female Maya I quite like that name as well okay I'm just going to rename one and then we're open to free name suggestions in the comments so please drop them down below um, the, I say that shouldn't be red, but it's because I was in pause mode. Okay, that's fine. So their welfare is at 99%. That's really good. The only thing that we can do to improve that is having regular cleaning and up in their meal quality. I think at the moment we don't need to do that because it's not not anything that's going to go amiss if that makes sense. So that is pretty much how I start my franchise zoos. So in the next episode what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a path, I'm going to start it just while I'm on this one, um, just so I know where I am. I want to go directly from possibly here. So let's just go out here and then we're going to go down here next time and I'm going to build some shops and I'm going to build a little mute swan lake here. So I think that'll go quite nicely walking in and you can see the mute swans here. So that is how I get this, the first part of my um, my franchise zoo started up and as you can see the guests are already given little donations some larger than others but it's getting there 
and we're making making some money back so catch us in the next one for the second animal and the shops okay and feel free to subscribe to the channel as well drop a comment down below below i'm also looking for names for the raccoons as well drop a like as well and all the links to all my social medias are in the description below cheers guys thank you